we're talking to you as you just left Al Shifa. How do you comfort your family? What's happening to your family as you're at the hospital? I tell them at least we still have a house with a door to close, but many thousand refugees, people like us who use to live in dignity, have no longer houses and no doors to close to, to protect them. They are uh, surrounded by wastewater, by garbage. They don't have uh, adequate continuous supply of clean water to drink. Many of them uh, have a lot of missing members of their families. Uh, they don't know if they are alive or not. At, I tell them at least we still have a house to live in, but they don't have. And surprisingly, my four- and five-year-old kids, they accept this as, as a comfort, as, as, as a better situation. The Israeli military has dropped thousands of pamphlets warning people where you are in northern Gaza to leave. Um, why don't you go with your family south? And, and if I go, who treats my patients? They are not animals. They have the right to receive proper health care. You think I went to medical school and for my postgraduate degrees for a total of 14 years. So I think only about my life and not my patients. I'm asking you, ma'am, do you think this is the reason why I went to med school? To think only about my life? This so is not the reason why I became a doctor.